back with another video guys haven't posted in a while we were dealing with a hurricane recently for those of you in Florida I hope you're all safe but today we're gonna talk about a product we, we, we mentioned before that we had a sponsorship and we're gonna talk about that right now for those of you who have an older GX 460 like mine or one without the Apple CarPlay Android Auto we have a solution for that I know I talked about that that's something that I wasn't really into but I actually do enjoy it and I'm happy that we have it and today's sponsor is CarLink Life and this product I've had it already on the vehicle for a little bit and I just want to talk about how it functions I will put out another video on, on installation there are other videos of the install process so I'm not really gonna go too in-depth it's fairly simple you could do it within 20 uh, within anywhere from 30 to minutes to an hour depending on your level of, of comfortability in, in removing these panels it's not that hard so we're gonna go ahead and get inside and we're gonna go ahead and turn on the car and see what it's all about all right guys here we have the infotainment system now with the new car link system and we can see that we have uh, Android Auto we have Google Maps we have Spotify over here and we have uh, a multitude of different apps you could go into you obviously you could go into your messages uh, you have the weather WhatsApp and uh, so forth so uh, you have your Amazon music and it's sim it's a simple process it's it's very responsive I, I will say that you know you you tap it and it goes the touch screen it works as if it came on the vehicle i can't stress enough how much this is a game changer for myself and maybe for you as well that's something that you might like on your car and we'll talk about uh price point and everything as well and uh, full disclaimer I did not buy it, I did not pay for it, I was sent this device simply to go ahead and review it, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to talk about its pros and cons. First and foremost, to me, the most obvious pro is the fact that it's integrated into the screen. It looks OEM, it's a clean install. Everything is behind this unit and under here. It's a very simple process to install, but if you need help installing it, if you're in Florida and you want to drive by my side of town and have me and my brother install it for you, we can go ahead and do that as well. So to switch back to the normal menu, you simply just press home and now you're in the regular menu, you see? So we press the navigation, it works as if we were not using that device and to switch back, you just hold it like that and all the controls over here the volume up down uh, the skip forward skip back everything works as it should and and that's good you know that's something that it's real important for me to have that functioning as if it was OEM because I'm very meticulous I'm very picky when it comes to things like that one of the biggest pros to me and getting this year of, of GX, the one without the Android Auto, is the fact that, obviously, price point. You could get them at a more affordable price. You could get the vehicle for a good deal, especially the, the, the earlier model years. But when you add this, it doesn't have that glare. The newer one, if you've been inside of it, it the screen is up here, which I, I don't like that, first of all. Second of all, you're going to get a glare off the screen. I like the way that this is, they thought of, of the glare, and also this is, has like a matte finish um, in general, so it doesn't, it doesn't scratch, or, or not scratch, but it doesn't show that glare as obvious as, as uh, another one would, or the other one does. So that, that's one of the things that I, I really appreciate about that. And again, you could, you could press uh, Google search here, you could ask it to send a message to somebody. I can't stress enough how good this system is and i've already been testing it out for at least 
two to three weeks that I've had it installed and I forgot that it's in there in a sense that it's not something that that stands out as aftermarket I don't have to do additional steps to get it to function it, it just works it works properly and it just it, it does the job right a lot of us want that integrated uh, system like this whereas you don't have to put uh, this phone mount this phone mount is actually when I do videos now like you know uh, I'm doing some driving videos and stuff like that it's no longer necessary for me to have the phone up here and I can have this all opened up and if you're like me, I like to not have wires hanging down. It's just really seamless and integrated. So we go over here. We could go home. We could exit from here. And you see clearly you have Apple CarPlay. You have the Android Auto, which is what we were using. You have AirPlay, AutoLink. Um, you, could, you have the USB, which it's right here. And I had it. We... we we uh, put the wire through the side right over here so that way we can have access to this wire at all times. This is a, for an upgrade and for accessories. Uh, you could do it wired, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, or wireless, which is what I use at this time. Here's the Bluetooth, and then you can return. When you hit return from there, it simply takes you back. Another thing it has, cameras. It's not going to show anything right here, but... You can add additional cameras. That's why it says no signal, signal, because there's uh, there's actually wires, additional wires for upgrades, for speakers, for audio system. All that can be upgraded, and the wires are already included with this device. So I really enjoy it. You know, and now do I recommend it? If it, if you're someone who wants the Android Auto integrated into your car. And you don't want to pay substantially more money to have a newer GX460 and you want an older one like mine. Look at that, guys. We're at 91,993 miles. We'll do another review or a, an overlook because we did a 90,000 mile review. We will be doing a 100,000 mile review slash overview of the vehicle. And, uh, you know, I, I can't say enough of how good this system is going back to it. Having Android Auto, Apple CarPlay integrated into the car, it's a really good thing to have. So, guys, if you're looking to upgrade your sound system, I would highly recommend. It's, it's a very easy thing to install. It's nothing complicated. Everything you need comes in the box. The instructions come in there. You could actually scan a QR code, and it will take you to another video of somebody else installing it. And, again, I'm going to do a brief overview video and show you that as well sound quality everything excellent the the ease of install out of one out of five of difficulty i give it a 1.5 maybe a two at most in terms of usability i give it a it, it works great it's seamless it's nothing complicated and do i recommend it yes if i had to pay for it which i am going to buy my own as well just to show you that i am willing to pay for this product and it's not that they, they gave it to me for free and they told me that i have to say only positive things about it there is not they did not tell me that i have to give it a positive review i'm simply getting this device installing it they asked me hey steve can you install this in your car do a video and review it and that's exactly what we're doing right now if this device fails on me or anything like that, I'll follow up on a video, but I don't see that happening. It's really well built. Everything is, the wires for it is heavy duty. And I'll go ahead and, and release a video of a brief overview of the install process. If you want to see a full installation videos, there are other people that have it out there already. And I recommend you could watch one of them. Maybe I'll link it in the description below. We'll go ahead and do a look at the vehicle again from the outside i really do enjoy this this gx man this is the vehicle i i drive daily i drove far to get to where i'm at today and even with the fuel efficiency that it has i still enjoy it and having that the ability to have android auto on it now it just takes it to the next level it modernizes the vehicle 
and it just feels great. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching the video.